Okay, so this is gonna sound more than a little wooey, but apparently when you were born affects a lot about you. Hey guys, Julia here for DNews. For as long as people made stories from the stars, we've imagined that the heavens might influence events here on Earth. Astrology is all about that. Astrologists believe that when we are born determines who we are. They believe the alignment of the planets might influence the way we behave and even shape our personalities. They believe that some people born in a certain month are more creative and those in another might have more perseverance, that sort of thing. While that's largely considered pseudoscience and, well, meaningless in the scientific community, it seems that what month you were born in might have some influence on your health. There have been a number of studies lately linking month of birth to an increased risk for some medical conditions. Like a 2012 study published in the Journal of Neurology, Neurosurgery, and Psychiatry found that the risk of developing multiple sclerosis is highest in the month of April and lowest in October. Another study published in the journal Thorax found that babies born in high pollen seasons were more likely to later develop allergies or asthma. So to find out if these studies held up, a group of data scientists analyzed a lot of studies along with a lot of information about patients' medical histories. Using Columbia University Medical Center's health record data, they compared nearly 1,700 diseases against the birth dates and medical histories of 1.7 million patients. The study published in the Journal of American Medical Informatics Association found 55 health problems that related to what month you were born in. There's even a suggestion of seasonality, with conditions grouping in certain months that are close together, like a risk of heart conditions rising for people born in March or April. I know what you're probably thinking, correlation does not equal causation. The scientists find some of the reasons for these associations might be because of certain environmental conditions of these months. Like the amount of sunlight a person is exposed to early in life could change the developing brain, so that those kids born later in the year in November might be more likely to get ADHD. Or on the other hand, it might be that those kids are just younger in their class, so their workload is a little much for their little brain, so they struggle more than their older peers. But at the same time, the researchers found another interesting link. They found that those born in certain months had better protections against certain diseases. Like those born in months at risk for heart disease like March had protections against respiratory illnesses and neurological conditions. On the other hand, people born in October were more likely to get respiratory illnesses but were better protected against heart disease. But if any of these disease birth month connections worry you, have no fear. Birth month does not seal your fate. The researchers stressed that the risks they found are only minor. They said that diet and exercise were much more influential variables. All right, guys, I know you love science and stuff, and here on DNews, we get to explore science topics pretty in depth. But if you also want short, sweet, and slightly silly science, check out my brand new show, Test Tube 101, where we explain simple science concepts in about a minute. Check it out. The term Jurassic comes from the Jura Mountains, where we first found rocks from this time period. But you probably know it for being the age of reptiles, because dinosaurs. So what do you think about all these health birth month connections? Do you believe in it? Let us know down in the comments below. While you're there, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep coming back here to DNews. We've got new episodes every day of the week.